What is up guys, welcome to RAM Overload and today I'm going to be talking about the five top applications that no one should be using in 2022. Okay, so these applications have and probably were being used by a majority of you sometime in the past, but because of recent events and news, they should not be used anywhere by anyone. Okay, there are a lot better alternates, which I will talk about as well, but um, as for these applications, um, themselves they should not be used at all so the first one coming in is zoom okay so zoom is you know a video conferencing application you probably use it at your work maybe school or wherever you know everyone has heard of zoom especially because of the pandemic you know zoom has become a lot more popular with everyone okay so the thing about zoom is it's been really susceptible to zoom bombing okay so basically a you know random person can join your lobby or i guess your zoom meeting and then just start doing whatever they want okay and you know zoom has tried to basically stop it but it has not worked very well for them okay so zoom will not be recommended by or well, should not be used by anyone in 2022 there are a lot of the art alternates like you know you can google meet has a really nice one microsoft teams is pretty good as well in my opinion okay so next let's talk about c cleaner so c cleaner was probably one of the most widely used applications recommended for cleaning up your pc all right. And, you know, I have recommended it as well in the past and I have used it heavily in the past, but I just cannot recommend it anymore because CCleaner was acquired by Avast. And then because of that, you know, they started not paying too much attention to privacy. And, you know, since Avast is a big company and, you know, they do have a, initially themselves have a lot of privacy concerns. They brought those privacy concerns to CCleaner as well. And then on top of that, CCleaner was hacked, which, you know, some people were affected depending on which version you had, but it's just not something we would recommend anymore. There's a lot more other applications. I have a whole video um, that I made about the top five com uh, computer cleaners out there. And, you know, there are a lot of good ones there. Make sure to check out that video. I'll leave it linked in the description below. All right. Next one is uTorrent. So uTorrent was one of the best applications to download Torrent, you know, and recently, it, well, not recently, it was a couple of years ago, uh, they have been caught, they were mining Bitcoin on people's computers. So if you had the uTorrent application downloaded on your PC, you are technically mining Bitcoin for uTorrent. Okay, it's not like you were keeping the money, they were keeping the money um, themselves. So, you know, once they got caught, they did stop it. They did try to like deny it and all that, but you know, they've been caught and it's just not something really trustworthy in a sense to be, uh, recommended anymore. You know, I'm sure they don't do it now anymore, but I just would highly not recommend them at all. Okay. There's a lot of other, um, applications, torrent applications out there like BitLord or QBitTorrent or even BitTorrent. So these applications are a lot more trustworthy in my opinion than uTorrent. All right, so moving on, we will go to QuickTime. So QuickTime is a rather interesting application. You know, it's been used heavily by a lot of people, especially if you have a Mac, right? But QuickTime just wasn't really it. Luckily, Apple has stopped support for QuickTime and it shouldn't be used by anyone any longer. There's a lot better applications, um, for example, like VLC. Even in my opinion, Windows Media Player is all, it's 10 times better than QuickTime. If you are using QuickTime for for Windows, then it was just another whole thing where, you know, it there, there was just a slew of bugs. And if you still have it on your computer, I recommend you just get rid of it. All right. So last but not least is Internet Explorer. So Internet Explorer was one of the worst browsers out there in modern times. OK, uh, you know, there was other browsers earlier, you know, when the Internet first came out, but somehow Internet Explorer just stuck all the way until recently where Windows finally dropped support. Um, you can see it's going to support 
well, I guess June 15, 2022. All right, so now we don't have to worry about that, especially if you're a developer, you really don't have to worry about developing something that is compatible with Internet Explorer because that was just another whole ball game and just a lot more hassle to deal with. Okay, um, and aside from that, there were uh, some websites where they wouldn't work unless you were on Internet Explorer, which defeated the whole user experience in itself. So, yeah, those are the top five applications, in my opinion, that should not be currently used by anyone in 2022. You know, um, alternates for Internet Explorer is Microsoft Edge. Um, pretty much any other browser out there, you know, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Um, There's just a slew of new ones also like Opera, Vivaldi, and the list goes on. So yeah, just choose any one of those and you'll be good. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for today's video. You know, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It definitely helps the channel. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have any recommendations of applications that I think, you know, I can make another list on where it shouldn't be recommended to anyone, I'll definitely check those out. And other than that, peace out.